I've had some slight help with this project, but I directed, I produced, and I edited this whole project. So to see myself grow in that aspect as well is beautiful because I didn't know me learning how to edit and all of that as Diggy do and doing the videos and all of that and you know doing all the things that I do I didn't know that it was going to lead up to this moment to be able to capture what's in my mind to bring it into fruition you know what I'm saying I see things in my mind first shout out to Jaden shout out to J. I love you Jaden it's your auntie it's auntie jacket baby because I ain't got time baby Shout out to Jaden. I love you, Jaden. You better make sure you're doing good in school too, baby. Because if not, I'm gonna come down there. I'm gonna come down there and get you. You better make sure you're doing good in school, baby. I love you. Um, shout out to Tony. Let me see. I'm trying to shout out everybody that's up in here. Shout out to Mikael. I mean, shout out to um 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 um, um Jaguar Evermore. Shout out. To, what kind of hair? This hair right here actually. Let me tell y'all something. Hold on, cause, cause I'm trying to keep this hair. I just sometimes it be look, I be going through changes with this hair. See how it's blowing? Cause I got the fan on, so it's just a little bit all over the place. So excuse, excuse the frizzness. She cheesing. Well, that's what it's about. If I could bring a smile, that's what it's about. This. This hair is, this hair came from actually the hair store here in LA. It's a hair store in the black folk side of town, the black side of town. And it's actually a lace front. This is a lace front. This is not a sew-in. Sometimes I still wear my lace fronts and I'm just now starting to get into it. I might be late, but whatever. I'm just now starting to get off into, um, I'm gonna be like sew-ins and all of that. You know, in a minute, it's gonna be crazy. Just just, just give me some time. It's gonna be crazy with the hair. Like, y'all know I'm always constantly changing my styles and stuff like that, but this is actually a lace front, as you can see. This is the beginning of the lace here. And you can see I can style it out different types of ways and stuff like that. So, I'm learning about the frontals that go from ear to ear and all of that. So, it's gonna be on in a minute, baby. It's just give me some time. And actually, as well, I'm actually bald on top of my head, which ain't no secret. I've been bald for some years. And um, I'm trying to grow it back or not. I might go get, I don't know, some type of hair restoration. I don't know, something later on. But the good thing is that when you're, I have hair that grows on the side so I can still braid that. So they braid it into a circle. And I'll still be able to use that hair and do a sew-in if I want to. So, you know, the possibilities are infinite when it comes to this hair. And even if you're bald, you still can make it look good. And that's what it's about. Making it look good, baby, because there's a lot of, I ain't the only bald bitch in the top of my head. Trust and believe. Trust and believe, honey. It's all about money and coins and making it look like what it ain't. And until I can get my hair to grow out of my scalp, I'm going to be doing what I got to do to serve and slay. I'm just keeping it real. Y'all know, I'm, like I said, it's all about keeping it real. Yes, I am bald in the top of my head. Yes, baby, I am. But see, I'm at a point I don't care because I know I'm still slaying it. And I don't let that define me. You get what I'm saying? I don't let none of that define Sun Key. Because it doesn't. Hair does not define me. Shoes do not, does not define me. Pumps does not define me. Makeup does not define me. This green does not define me. Me being transgender does not, does not define me. And actually, this project that I'm talking about, September the 5th, is all about how people allow things to define them. And it's going to be talking about how I'm not defined by anything that you see. Or by a label that other people put on me. Or by a label that you feel like I'm supposed to be. Or how I'm supposed to look in, in society's eyesight. Some women may feel like I need to have some big ass, gorgeous ass titties. But that's, what if that's not what I want? Does that make me any less of a trans individual? Does that make me any less of who I say I am? No. I am who I say I am. And that's Sun Key Angel. The trans alien. And I call myself the trans alien because I'm steady defining myself. And it's, it's, it's. A ongoing process and I'm always changing it up and I feel like I'm an alien I really do when I meditate I see things and I go somewhere else so when I come out with my music and all of that I'm a very spiritual person and it comes to me so just know everything that you all see is being downloaded from another realm you gotta understand see I don't want to get I don't want to get deep with y'all because 
when you go to another realm, you tend to see things. That's where the creativity comes from. We were thought here into existence. So I think everything that's in my mind and I bring it into fruition. So yes, I'm an alien. Yes, I am an alien. I have a lot of ideas around this alien thing. Even I see soon I'm going to be going on tour, the, the trans alien tour. All, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. Trust and believe. Trust. Just like I said, give it some time. Give it some time. Trust and believe. It's just a matter of time. But um, July the 15th, my trailer drops. September the 5th, the video drops. And, you know, that's why 80% of these weeds, queens are bald. And 30% have no edges. That are so right. Well, I got some edges. That's good. I ain't got them in the top, but I got them on the side. So you absolutely correct about that. But it's good that, you know, technology and all those things are now getting better and it's it's progressing and you know what i'm saying it's it's we can do things we can get the installations in our head and we can get certain wigs and stuff to help us you know cover up them spots that we don't want people to see when we step out you get what i'm saying that's what i'm saying that's what i'm saying that's that's what i'm saying so you know it's a good thing to be able to um just, you know, to, to camouflage things in. And I love the lace fronts because, of course, they feel like they're coming out your scalps. Yes, I still rock lace fronts. I love my lace fronts. I don't care what nobody... I love my lace fronts, baby. Yes. And you can find some good lace fronts here in L.A. That's the thing. L.A. has some really good hair. And if you know you should... I like to go to the... I like to go down Crenshaw, go to the black black stores and stuff that have, like, the black, you know... For now, I like to go to... And I'm still... I'm, I feel like I'm going to always go to them, them black... I love... The beauty, the beauty supply stores here in LA because baby, it's one store that I go to that I got this hair from. Actually, it's a grocery store, baby. And inside the grocery store is a hair store. And I've never seen no shit like that in my life. But it's the hood. I don't know. But they, they, they got some really good hair. And it's just, that's why I go. You know what I'm saying? I like to get what looks good on me. I don't care how much it costs. I don't care. If it look good, I'm not going to go along with something because everybody's saying, oh, it's cheap or it's expensive. If it look good to me and I feel like it look good on me, I'm going to get it. And I think if more people were like that, they wouldn't be so, you know, gung ho to be on, um, to be doing all the stuff because other people don't want to go on about Jordans and Jays and stuff all because everybody else is doing it. If you see something that's cheap in a thrift store, get it. Because to be honest, here in LA, you can go right over there. Let me tell you something, baby. Let me tell you something, baby. Exactly. Who in entertainment where they real hair? That's right. But let me say this. Um,. They got some th thrift stores, and they have some um, Goodwills out here, like the one in Beverly Hills. A lot of them old folks be dropping that stuff off, honey. You can find some really good clothes. Some of them may be a little price. Some of them might be cheap. But the thing is, I know style, so if I see something that I can match up and put it together, trust and believe me, you, baby. Sun Key is going to grab that, and I'm going to get it, and I'm going to match it up and make it look good. That's what I'm going to do, baby. That's what I'm going to do. You know, because style, you know, sometimes you sometimes you go to them places, you can't find none of that stuff in, in some of them some of the name brand stores and stuff. You can only a lot of these old white folks and stuff, they they got they come from old money. They come from old and they have a lot of nice stuff and you you know, you just gotta catch it at the right time. And sometimes I go over there and see what's going on and get some little pieces and whatever, whatever. Um Did I, did I, did I, Jaguar? She said I killed the BET Awards. Let me tell you something. The BET Awards was so amazing, y'all. Oh, my God. Like, it was so crazy. Like, it was so crazy. I tell you, it was really, really, I had such a good time. And then, of course, I saw, shout out to Sydney Star. Shout out to Sydney Star, the baddest transgender diva. I love her. She really embraced me. We had a, such a good time. Um... BET Awards weekend. I think it was that Saturday. And it was so crazy because I had been trying to see. I always wanted to meet her. I'm like, I want to meet her. I love the girls. You know what I'm saying? I love to see um, the girl. I love to show love to one another. You know, it's some shady ass bitches out here. And I don't understand why they so shady when it's we need to be trying to accept one another for who we are. But if I see a bad bitch, I'm going to tell you, bitch, you bad. You know what I'm saying? That's just what it is from one bad bitch to the other. You know, that's just what it's going to be. So... I saw, we, I was leaving, somebody had gave me a ticket to go into, um, to see the concert. I think it was Lil Wayne and Two Chains or somebody they was, they was performing. So I was about to go in the bathroom and, and tinkle and pee real quick. And then when I walked in, I saw sitting a star in the mirror and I'm like, we, 
she was like, hey, and I didn't even know who she was. At first, I was gagging, so we gagged and we hugged each other and took pictures. And then after that, we just hung out the whole night. So, shout outs to um, Sydney Star. The bitch is bad, and I see why some people can't take her because she bad. The bitch is bad, and that's just what it is, you know. So she don't give a fuck what nobody think, and I love that. That's empowerment for me to be able to see somebody walking in their life. She's been on hormones for years, and she's been walking, walking in her truth for a long time, and to see that, that's amazing to me, you know. So I embraced her, and she embraced me. Um. So yeah. We had a blast. I had so much fun that night with her that I woke up crying, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. I, I woke up crying. Like, y'all know I'm a cry, but I cry sometimes. I get emotional. But it was just, I don't know. It was like I felt like I needed that. I saw some things that really revived my soul. And it was just like to be able to get out and about and see that. It was such an, it was amazing. Um, Yeah, it was amazing. We had a blast. We really did. So BET Awards was definitely crazy, you know. So shout outs to everybody who's checking in right now. I might I might get back on later. I don't know. Right now I'm about to it's some pictures I just post. I might post some pictures or whatever with this green on or whatever. Just being me feeling myself and did a little photo shoot, you know what I'm saying? And y'all know how I go. But sometimes I feel like, you know, sometimes I just wanna feel I like to my body, you know what I'm saying? This is my body and I just, you know, it's me, you know, so I be feeling it. I want to show me a little skin. I want to show me a little skin. I can do that. You know what I'm saying? I'm just breaking barriers in my mind. So get with it. Fuck everybody. I'm grown. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to do me. I ain't no barriers. This is me now. So. Shout outs to everybody who is checking in right now. I love each and every one of you. What she said? Looking like money. Looking like money. Green like money. Green like money. Yes. Shout out to Siobhan. I love you, Siobhan. Yes. Yes, Jaguar Evermore. I'm, you know, you inspire me too, baby. Trust and believe. Let me tell you something. When I saw you, um, you was at the beach that day and you had on something. It was like your body was, it was so pretty though. Baby, when I tell you, that right there gave me life. I wish I was out there with you. You started twerking, baby. And all the ass started coming out. Baby. I said, yes, yes, bitch. Yes, bitch. I was gagging. I gagged up. Major blood. I get the major blood. So yes. Um, you yes, you showing you about it's about empowerment. You empower me just like I empower you. You get what I'm saying? And you are such a beautiful soul. Just know that you are. So um, I'm thinking about going to the ESPYS um on the 13th. I'm not sure the ESPYS is gonna be downtown. You know that's the ESPYS of ESPN, the basketball. You know, all the, I guess all the, you know, um, NBA, whatever, I don't know. But I went, I think a couple years back, I might go this year. I don't know. I think I might just go down and show my face, see what's going on, stick my head in the building. Maybe I might run into some fans or something. I don't know. I may even, you know, connect with some of these basketball players or something. I don't know. Maybe I'll get a couple pictures. I don't know. Maybe I'll have me a drink. I don't know. Maybe so. I don't know. So, anyway, I'm not going to keep you guys. It's been such lovely time talking to you, I, to you guys. Yes, we inspire each other. You get what I'm saying? So, I'm about to calm down. Remember these two dates. The dates, July the 15th and September the 5th. Those are the two dates I need you all to, to, to remember. Coming soon, baby. Thank you all so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you all so much. Thank you. That's right. <laughs> You're so crazy. That's right. Okay, so... I'll holler back at you all later. I might cam up and come back home later. I don't know. But right now, I'm finna work on some other things. I got a lot, of, lot to do. A lot of, lot of whole bunch of shit before these, before these dates that I gave y'all. Connecting with, you know, just a lot. I don't want to give too much out. But shout out to everybody who's watching. Shout out to everybody who's gonna be watching this broadcast after I brought, after I come down after this camera. Remember the two dates I told you. And thank you. 
I love you all.